the data formality test in terms of two another parameters eh, in our data set here. So we want to analyze for height and weight of the respondent. Okay, so you just go here and reset first all the button and then put your height and then put your weight inside the dependent list and then go to the statistic and then choose the M estimator and outlier. Click continue. Click plots here, request for histogram and normality plot with test and then click continue and then click O. Oh, okay. So after you click OK, the SPSS will produce the um, output lah. I show you again. Okay, just put your height here inside the dependent list and put your weight inside the dependent list. Uh, take the M estimator and outlier and then click the plots and request for normality plots and histogram. Click continue and OK. And then the result will produce for you like this. So we are going to interpret one by one based on this statistical um, analysis for the normality test eh. I run both of it together eh. So let us look for this. So the first one, um, we are looking into the skewness and kurtosis. Okay, this is the skewness and this one is kurtosis. So you can find here is 0 0.373, this one is 0 0.80. 0 0.580 is more already than our statistic. So we can suggest this one times by two also is more than our statistical value. So we can suggest that the height is considered no? normal. So for another one, 0 0.580 times by two also is equivalent to one point something. This one is 0 0.9 is more or not more? Is more also than our uh, statistical value. So therefore we can also suggest that the weight also uh, being considered as a normal data lah so far. So how many evidence that we, we need to find? You try to find two to three evidence eh. So the first evidence skewness indicate okay. And then the next one we 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 look into the the Kolmogorov, Spirnov and Shafiro wheels. We can see that the significant level is 0.172 and then another one will be 0.2. So both of these are more than 0 0.05 kan. So therefore we suggest that this one is normally tabulated kan. Normal or not normal? Normal. Very good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we proceed with the next one, which is the histogram. So our histogram are not so cute. Eh? Our histogram here, if you produce the normality plot uh, table, is not so cute because the sample size are so small. Eh? So therefore, we can say that, mm, okay, it's not it's not too nice because the sample size is so small. Same also goes to the steam and leaf. You cannot see anything indicator here that uh, clearly indicate that this data is normalated, uh, tabulated normally. Can you see it? This is your head, you look into this position and then you find out that something like this, right? It's not complete. Uh, but um, based on the statistical value, we can say that this one is normal. So based on the QQ plot, based on the QQ plot, if you look and see here, it's um, well, well, it's, it's, it's not so, so good as our job performance, but we can say that this one is considered um, um, acceptable, lah, acceptable. So the next one will be the detrended QQ plot. We need to find it out whether it is fall within the uh, plus minus 0 0.3. So if we put 0 0.3 here, <coughs> excuse me. So we can say that a majority of the data is fall within that region. So we can say that, okay, this one is a good evidence to suggest that the data is normally tabulated. Okay, the next one, we are going to scroll down there and then we see the um, uh, box plot. Eh? The box plot are very critical element to detect any uh, extreme value. So no extreme value here and there. So this is our box plot. is tabulated into a, a good position. Lah. So the best box plot will be like this. Eh? The best box plot. It will segregate equally. Uh, this is the best one. Lah. So nak dapat yang the ideal one is very difficult. Lah. Why very difficult? Because we conduct the sample in the populations of human, eh? so not human is the same, eh? the characteristic might be different. So this is about the weight. The weight also, if we can see the tabulation uh, according to the histogram, are not so cute like before. So same also goes to the steam and leaf, it's not cute. The QQ plot also is not tabulated within the line. And then this one is possibly makes sense because um, it is fall within the 0 0.3 somewhere here. Lah. 0 0.3. Uh, this one is minus 0 0.3. So majority of the data we can consider it's tabulated normally within this uh, region. So this one also we can say um, kind of normal. So this one is the box plot, no extreme values, so far so good. So in the end of the day, what are we suggesting? So the first one we will suggest that the weight, 
the weight is no normal normal based on the uh, skewness uh, scurtosis and also the kolmogorov spinorov the statistical analysis lah so the second one is our height eh so the height also proven to be um, normal based on our statistical value eh based on our statistical values okay so far understand or not how it become normal or not normal so now you know already how to get the normality of data now you know right okay very good so now is the time for us to take some time and ladies and gentlemen that we can continue this one later on hopefully you can understand all of this uh,